welcome back to my channel. So I just got a new puppy and for all of you guys that know, I am completely obsessed, like psychotically obsessed with pugs. I think I was a pug in my other life. Um, <laughs> but I love pugs, like they're just so freaking cute. Yes, you're just so freaking cute, I love you. Yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> Um, and, um, this past December, I got Evie. I literally filmed this video back in December as well when I wanted to do, um, the, like, me Evie thing. Um, and so I have clips of me showing her when she's just the baby. I'll probably insert them here. So she has definitely grown the past couple months, like a lot. So she definitely doesn't look the same. And when I first got her, they said that she was a teacup pug, which I've never heard of before. I didn't even know teacups come in pugs. <laughs> I have a teacup chihuahua, but I didn't know that they have like teacup pugs. So um, she ended up selling her to me way more than a normal pug would be just because she's supposedly a teacup but to be honest I took her to the vet to get her shots and then the vet told me that she's really not I think 10 weeks when I took her because when I bought her I bought in her I don't know um, when I bought her um, she was six to eight weeks old I think she was six and a couple weeks later she had already said that she got her first set of shots so the next one was at 11 weeks so I took her to the vet and when we got there everyone was just admiring how tiny she was they were like there's no way she's 11 weeks I'm like yeah she is she's a teacup pug and then the doctor checked her out to give her her second set of shots and she said that she wouldn't need those she needs the first set and I let them know well when I bought her they had told me that she already had her first set of shots and she's 11 weeks old. So the vet explained to me that based off of her, the size of her teeth and stuff like that, um, she can tell that she's not 11 weeks. She's actually barely six to eight weeks. So she's still a baby and that she's, she just needs her first set of shots. Her And so then I ended up just doing that, I believe the vet. But to my, like, I don't, I don't get it. It didn't make sense to me why they would lie and say that she was younger. Maybe because she was being sold as a teacup pug or whatever. You can't fucking trust Craigslist. <laughs> but I've literally been trying to find a pug for years. I mean years. I've tried looking. First I look at shelters and um, places that have pugs to adopt. And I checked up all the listings. A lot of them were already adopted, which that's awesome. Um, but that sucks. So then I tried going on Oodle, which is another website to, to buy dogs. So I went on there and they had pugs. A lot of them were like scammers trying to sell pugs. It's really weird because who would scam people out of that? I don't know. They're... They say that they're located in L.A., and then when you contact them, they're, like, located in Indianapolis or something, or, like, Chicago. I don't know, some weird-ass, like, location that's not, obviously, California, or L.A., to be exact. And, um, so I just didn't go f further with that. So then I had given up my search, honestly. I gave up my search back in December, because originally I wanted a black male pug. Black is my favorite color, and pugs are my favorite animal. Sorry, we just, because I have that chihuahua too. He's just looking at himself. He doesn't give a shit right now. He hates her anyway, so. Um, yeah, so I was looking for a black male pug, and I couldn't find one. So I gave up. I was like, no one, have, no one has one. It's a scam for the ones that I do contact. So I was just kind of over it by then. 
And then I got a text from my brother. I guess he was looking for them too, which I didn't know. So he sent me a link to some on Craigslist. And I've never been one to get anything on Craigslist just because I've heard some sketchy things from Craigslist. So I never want to get anything from there, let alone a dog. And he showed me a couple of them and I contacted the, the sellers. And one of them was for Evie. And her picture on Craigslist was the cutest thing. She looked so tiny. Oh my god, die. She was the tiniest thing. They put her next to a vitamin bottle. Just to be like, she's a teacup pug. Um, but I was already interested in her. I was like, I know I aimed for a black male pug. But now I'm going to get a girl fawn pug. <laughs> totally opposite of what I originally wanted. But when I met her, I instantly fell in love. I was just like, I don't care. She's that much money. I'm, I'm going to go. Let me go to the bank right now. Let me give you your money. Um, I was so in love with her the day I met her. I was just like, she's going to be mine. I don't care. Even though she smelled funky. I don't know what where they had her. She smelled so weird. Um, but yeah, I ended up falling in love with her. We took her home. And I was so paranoid when I first got her. I was just like, I don't know how to like... The last time I got a new dog was when I was like 12 or something. And I didn't even have to take care of it. So this is the, my first real dog that I take care of since it was a baby to now. And she was such a handful. I will tell you, if you're planning to get a dog, make sure that you have the time patience and the resources I guess or just like the means to be able to buy what they need and the bills to pay for their shots and stuff like that so you definitely have to have that in mind and um so when I first got her the first night she she was just crying because I had her in a box she was so tiny like literally the size of your hand she was so tiny that I didn't want to put her in my bed because I didn't want to squish her. I mean, I sleep with my other dog and he's tiny, but he knows how to move if I'm going to turn over or something. But with her, I just felt like I couldn't sleep with her <laughs> as much as I wanted to. So I had left her in a box and right next to my bed because she could not just be alone. So I put her in a box next to my bed and she just kept crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and I felt so bad. I think it's like the new mom syndrome where you just, you just cannot stand hearing them cry. I'm just like, uh. So I got her and I put her in my bed and she literally just slept right here on my neck. Like, just on my neck. And I think she just got used to just sleeping on my neck the whole entire time that every night when it was about to go to sleep, she would not go to sleep. She would cry until I put her on my bed. And a lot of the times, one time I was so exhausted coming home that I ended up just going to sleep. She was crying, crying. I fell asleep and somehow I woke up and she was right here. I either subconsciously brought her in or she climbed, but I doubt she was able to climb that. So I don't know. So now... I mean, she's big enough to sleep on her own. She has her own little doggy bed, and she sleeps in that, which I'm not used to because, like I said, I sleep with my dogs, so I'm not used to them just kind of doing their own thing. But with her, I can't sleep with her as much as I would want to sleep with her. She's too hyper, and she shits everywhere. <laughs> I wake up, and there's shits all over my bed or piss all over my bed, and that just, I'm such a clean freak that piss, okay, I'm such a clean freak, and then, my room is messy in the background not today don't count today uh, but I'm normally such a clean freak and just having that around just the smell is permeating permeating it's just seeping through everywhere it's freaking disgusting so she just had to sleep in her own bed so that's what she does she sleeps in her own little section and in, in her bed so yeah but other than that, she's a good girl, and um, she's normally super hyper right now. She's exhausted because she just ate, so I would show you her. Oh, let me see if I can just grab her. Oh, and she snores. Oh, she's so freaking cute. Hi, Mom, why is, hi, Mom, why is you tired? No, I'm sorry. People want to see you. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No. 
so cute because she looks like Doug the Pug. If anybody follows Doug the Pug on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not following Doug the Pug, you should be following Doug the Pug. Doug is so cute. Doug is her boyfriend. Illegitimate boyfriend. <laughs> oh, 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 I know I'm pimping you out. I'm sorry. I love you. You like to smell my lip gloss? Oh, no, don't, don't be licking me. I love you. So yes, that was Meet My Child, Evie. She is my only girl. You my only girl? Are you my only girl? Yeah, she's my only girl. She's so tired. Oh my god, look at her. It's like if she drank z or something. She's gone. I tired her out this morning. We went for a run and then... I tired her out, and now she doesn't even want to do the video. Well, this video is better than no video, so... <laughs> Evie, at least say bye! No, no, you're done. Look. No, look. Look at it. Oh, you're tired. You're exhausted, huh, honey? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. I smother her. She probably hates it, but I love it. Say bye. 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 Well, okay, yeah, bye. Good night. <laughs> bye, guys. See you in my next video. <laughs> bye. Or not. Or not. Ow, that hurts. <laughs>